Nursing students haven't had many opportunities to learn in hospital settings because of the pandemic. But students at the University of New England's nursing program are learning skills to prepare for the real world with the help of virtual reality simulations. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Portland. In this class at the University of New England School of Nursing and Population Health's Portland campus, students strap on headsets are. and are handed controllers from their instructor. You ready to go? All right. Students are assessing a patient immersed in a virtual reality simulation program. Today's scenario takes place in a hospital maternity ward. Students must first determine the symptoms of a pregnant patient who was just sent over from her doctor's office. Okay, so headache, vision problems, and not feeling right? Anything else? Students check reflexes, vital signs of both mom and baby. The baby's position seems to be vertex. Through VR, nursing students are learning hands-on skills at a time when watching real-world hospitalizations is very limited. Don Marie Dunbar is the director of the UNE Simulation Center. Certainly with the challenges of COVID, um, oftentimes those units are closed to our students for learning. So being able to have the opportunity to have them experience that in the virtual reality world um, has uh, you know, been a huge benefit. Kathleen Humphreys, who is a senior in the program, says the scenarios make her feel like she's actually in the room with the patient. It does allow us to screen for more um, critical cases where we do really need to make interventions and call the providers. After students run through a scenario, they get immediate feedback on their mistakes and without the stress of practicing skills on a real patient. But a lot of times we can kind of go back in and redo the scenario and so that's a good opportunity to really learn. Now UNE was the first medical school in the country to begin using the virtual reality simulation program with its nursing students. And the hope is within the next year to expand it to include students who are studying to become physician's assistants who work with medical teams. Students are practicing different virtual scenarios, including pediatric wards and community clinics to better equip these future nurses to care for patients in any type of setting. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.